This is Kibra Slum in Nairobi, Kenya, one of the largest informal settlements in Africa. From up here, it looks calm, but beneath the overlapping tin roofs is a hive of activity. Residents move back and forth, hoping to find opportunities to help them cope with their difficult everyday lives. Residents live tightly packed in mostly improvised living quarters. It's not unusual to have six people inhabiting a space of nine square meters, sleeping on the bare ground. Most residents live in extreme poverty, earning less than one US dollar per day. Diseases caused by poor hygiene are prevalent. A great majority lack access to basic services such as electricity, medical care and clean water. On the 8th of May 2020, massive landslides in the Aberdare Ranges damaged the transmission line supplying water to Nairobi, forcing the water company to shut down supply into many parts of the city. Informal settlements such as Kibra, which were already experiencing insufficient supply, have been heavily affected. 60% of Nairobi's 4.3 million residents live in the informal settlements. Kibra residents started to use sewer water for domestic use. Even to access this sewer water, people could travel up to three kilometers. And it is mainly children involved in fetching this unsafe water. This presented a clear danger of waterborne diseases, including cholera, a dangerous killer disease that could pose an even bigger disaster to a country whose health system is already overstretched with the current coronavirus pandemic. Access to water for cooking, washing and personal hygiene is extremely limited, costly and the supply is inconsistent. When we were doing our assessment, actually we learned that with the schools closed, uh, children are going out walking several kilometers looking for water and when they miss where to get the water they go to sewer lines to get the, the water and uh, having walked all that distance you find them taking the water direct drinking it taking it home for use and uh, that is that is something that really touched us even so Kibra is a complex buzzing neighborhood with unique human stories many residents are resourceful with a strong community identity, a sense of responsibility and care for others, and with tenacity to survive. And survive they must. Other social or economic factors put people at additional risk. Most live hand to mouth, day to day. This involves traveling through the city, walking or taking public transport, including extremely overcrowded trains which cut through the slum, risking exposure to disease. For this reason, Adra Kenya has been supporting communities in Kibra to access clean water, hand washing facilities, and other personal hygiene items, while at the same time providing social behavior change communication. The effects of uh, the pandemic for the communities here in, in the Kibera informal settlement, particularly with limited access to water, has been grave. Families cannot access water for uh, domestic use and also for personal hygiene. So that is why as Adra Kenya we saw it necessary to come and support communities in this area. At the beginning we were serving about uh, 3,000 people because we had uh, uh, two water bowsers and uh, three uh, stationary water supply points. But with time because of the demand we have increased, now we are working with three water bowsers and we are serving close to 4,000 people in the, in the community. During this project, for six days a week, Adra Kenya has been supplying over 50,000 litres of clean water a day. We have really benefited from Adra's water project here in Kivra. We are now able to meet other financial obligations since we don't have to buy water anymore. We are indeed grateful to Adra Kenya for this form of support given that these are hard economic times. Corona ambao ni changa limeuza sisi sana 
The COVID-19 pandemic has really affected us. We've lost our sources of livelihood, but at least we have free access to clean water thanks to Adra Kenya. In the present COVID crisis, we have been responding especially to the informal settlements uh, where life is extremely difficult. Uh, so many people live uh, on a daily wage basis. And without that daily income, because of the lockdown of the country, they're unable to get food for the day, for the family. We engaged some water vendors so that they could offer water at some cost, which now was being footed by ADRA. And then community members could now end up now fetching water for free from those points. So as they fetch water for free, they could end up now saving money, which they could end up also using in other areas. This program has been well received by the Kibra residents. ADRA Kenya has created sufficient networks to control who accesses the water, with priority being given to households with infants, the chronically ill, and the elderly. Different water collection points have been set up and are manned by volunteers. People queue at these water points, a clear indicator of the severity of the crisis. We worked with the volunteers who are who know the place, who are also experiencing the same challenges the rest are facing. So the volunteers were spread across the Kibera. And uh, the volunteers being that they have been in this area, it also offered us to be accepted even, even the more. For many residents like Dorothy, access to free clean water has not only helped in improving personal health and hygiene, but also cushioned her economically. She's now able to save the money she'd have used on buying high-priced water. I have been able to grow my business using the money that I'd have otherwise spent on water bills. Before, I could only manage to stock vegetables worth 300 to 400 shillings, but now I get up to 700 with ease. Now she has more time for her business, she says. I am happy because I don't have to waste time like before. Address water distribution schedule really favors my business hours. Before this, she lost time on long trips in search of water. Before Adra's intervention, I had to wake up early in the morning in search of water before I could go to the market. Even when we had water, we still had to strictly limit its use in the house because its availability the following day was uncertain. Many a times we'd wake up to dry taps, but for now all that is in the past thanks to Adra. Dorothy is happy that Adra Kenya has made it easier for her to adhere to the recommendations from the Ministry of Health as far as hygiene practices are concerned. I was not able to meet the expected levels of hygiene, especially during these COVID-19 times. Thanks to ADRA, I now have access to regular clean water. I don't have any problem cleaning my vegetables for my customers like before. Eunice Atieno just gave birth a few days ago. Thanks to Adra Kenya, water is the least of her worries at the moment. Volunteers make sure to bring her daily supply to her doorstep. Thanks to the generosity of these Adra Kenya volunteers, women like Lillian are not worrying how water will get to her house. I want to thank Adra Kenya for giving expectant women a priority at the water collection points. We do not even queue for water. In fact, they even help us carry the water home. A neighbor Beatrice enjoys the convenience of a regular supply of clean water just a few meters from her house. We are thankful and happy to have free water. In the past, it was a challenge to even afford one jerry can of water. On an ordinary day, clean and safe water is a luxury for slum dwellers, especially women who are the ones that buy or collect water from whatever source is available. 
Now with the threat of coronavirus, it's hard to imagine what these women would be going through without the assurance of a steady supply of water. For the elderly, this couldn't have come at a better time. The Adra Kenya Water Project in Kibra has indeed impacted many positively, old and young alike. For the youth like Mark, a regular supply of water has given them an upper hand in tackling COVID-19. Water shortage has always been a real challenge here in Kibra. It didn't make sense for us to maintain hygiene levels when we lack water, but ADRA has made it possible. We now have unlimited access to free, clean water. Even local water vendors have benefited from ADRA Kenya's program since it buys water from them to supply to vulnerable residents free of charge. In the past, I could only sell between 3,000 to 4,000 liters of water a day. Since ADRA came on board, I am able to sell up to 7,000 liters. Local leaders within the Kibra community have been, and continue to be, very supportive of the work ADRA Kenya and its partners are doing. And the lives of the community have changed because of the, some of the NGOs who are doing a very good work, like ADRA. All these gains definitely wouldn't have come without the generous contributions of donors like you. When we look at this, we, we really see that there is a lot of need to support this uh, community uh, and we appeal to, for, for support so that uh, we are able to, to have a more uh, permanent solution to, to, to this challenge. The assistance that ADRA Kenya is able to provide is because of the generous donations from people around the world, people like you. And we would love you to be a partner with us, with your donations, to ensure that people have uh, the ability to live a normal life. This particular initiative has been made possible by donations coming from ADRA Canada, the children of the late DRL Asselford, former missionary in Kenya, ADRA International, ADRA Africa, the Seventh-day Adventist Church in East Africa, and Karen Degu. Thank you for your support. You can profoundly impact lives of people, enabling them to help themselves and create a positive change around them.